What's up, everybody? This is Aiden, and welcome to Rage Comics. So, Rage Comics, they're kind of a thing of the past. Back in, like, the 2011 to, like, to like 20, 2009 to, like, 2013, I believe, is, what, like, when it was the most popular. If I'm getting that wrong, it's probably because I wasn't really on the internet back then. Uh, so, yeah, just don't, don't quote me on anything here when I talk about, you know, Rage Comic history, because I'm not even nearly qualified to teach it. But the point is that we're going to be reviewing Rage Comics in 2021. So we're starting with this one. It's Pooh. About to eat something. Sweet Jesus, derp. That's not honey. You're eating 2011 memes. Fuuuuck. So yeah, this is the apparently the top Rage comic in the past year. So yeah. Um, uh, I'm getting these all off the subreddit F7U12, which is the Rage comic subreddit. The biggest one, at least, that I, that I know. There's a, there's a lot of others, but they're not nearly as big. So yeah, this is apparently the biggest one of the last year. So that's cool. We're going to be going by the biggest ones of the last year. We're going to go down... And maybe they'll get better when we go lower, because this one isn't that good if it's a 0 out of 10. Hey, cereal guy. Yes, newspaper guy? Don't you get tired of eating cereal all the time? Sometimes. But don't you get tired of reading all the time? Meh, it's okay, I guess. Wanna switch it up? 10 seconds later. All the bowl reads is ew. This newspaper tastes horrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's really clever. I mean, it's not hilarious, but it's clever, okay? Eight, eight out of, uh, 7 out of 10, okay? Better than average. Oil floats on water. Wait for it to rain, cover yourself in oil, and then fly. That makes perfect sense. I don't see any reason why that would not work. Right? Am I right, gamers? Nothing is faster than light. Record a video of the light, press fast forward on the VCR. You have now created something faster than the speed of light. Problem, Einstein. You know, this is flawless logic. I don't see any reason why that does not make any sense at all. Whatever you do, you always give 100%. Blood donatios. Yeah, don't give 100% on that. You might die. Although the first the first section of it, I definitely do agree with. But give 100%, okay? That that I can agree with. It's very motivational. As, you, as all you know, I'm like the most motivational person on planet Earth. So, yeah, it, it fully suits my narrative here. Okay, this shit is a bit of a long one. Age 5. I want to be an astronaut and fly to Mars. I want to marry a prince and live happily ever after. Age 17. I want to be a lawyer and make millions. I want to be a doctor and also make millions. Age 22, I just want to finish college and at least get a 50k job. I just want to finish college, find a man, and get married. Age 30, we just want to make it through each month with enough money left over to give our child a good head start in life. Jesus Christ, I thought these, I thought was going to be funny. These are just, this is just fucking real. This is too real. What the shit? Okay, this one just make, just, this one just, just, if you read this one, you will just have a mental breakdown, okay? Okay, uh, dust broom thing okay put it on the thing <laughs> and then there's still a little bit left over Fuck! yeah <laughs> this is relatable i could relate i mean i don't i don't like clean the floor very often like this but you know it's still kind of relatable mmm syrup pouring carefully wipe down where it dripped okay eating carefully okay recapped yes return to fridge carefully Fuuuuck. You know, this is relatable because syrup gets freaking everywhere all the time. It's super annoying. I just, I don't know how it does it, but syrup gets everywhere. I pour it carefully on the pancakes and I clean my hands and yet I'm, my my body is still covered in syrup. The entire kitchen is covered with syrup and I don't get it, okay? This one's too relatable to the point where I, I don't like it, okay? Fuck off. Let me in gardening, in the gardening section of a shop. Eventually, I run into stacks of bags of soil. My brain tells me to smack it, which I proceed to do. Smack. Yeah, th that's pretty relatable. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why. My brain just tells me to smack it. I want to smack the bag. I know nothing's gonna happen. I know I'm not gonna gain anything from it. But I got to smack the bag of soil, okay? In the gardening section of the freaking store. Hey, little bro. You should Google Blue Waffle. Okay, sounds epic, XD. You, will you, what have you done? Oh, uh, you know, I'm not gonna do that to my brother, but I'm really tempted to. If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll do that to my own brother, okay? Don't do it! Don't do it! What are you watching on TV, honey? Don't do it, idiot! The video tip of our wedding? <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. That's funny. <laughs> Let me comfy on, on couch. Netflix, are you still watching? Keep watching. Looking around for remote. Remote on the other side of the room. This is very relatable. I'll be like, I'll be sleeping in my bed at night. Netflix, are you still watching? And I don't know where the shit the remote is, okay? I don't know where the fuck it went, but now I'm angry, okay? That's all I have to say. 
Forever alone. Forever alone. Ch Forever alone. Talking with friend about her co-worker's engagement to me. And he pulled out that ring and they enraged. Enraged, enraged, enraged. Will you marry me? Yes, I love you. I love you too. That sounds extremely romantic. I came. <laughs> okay, this one's funny. Me, I got, I got dumped by the last girl I liked due to my absence of faith. So I decided to go on an atheist online dating service to find a girl. I'm feeling out stuff about myself and currently on the section in Taste of Music when suddenly I noticed this. What the hell? Vacuum cleaner noises, the fuck? Meanwhile, in the atheist nightclub, vroom. I mean, I'm not an atheist, but you know, vacuum cleaner noises, that's the shit. Okay, salsa. Eh. Fuck.